Hello and welcome to this particle physics video on photon emissions. Video is based upon the 2015 AQA AS level specification. So let's talk about energy levels. First, you need to be familiar with the word ionization. This is the process of creating ions. You also need to be familiar with the term ionization energy, which is different from the chemistry one, but not by much. It's the amount of energy required to completely remove an electron from an atom in its ground state. Because if you just put amount of energy required to completely remove an electron from an atom, then that's not correct. Because if the atom's slightly excited, then the amount of energy required is then slightly less. So you need to specify that it's in its ground state. Electrons in an atom can only exist in certain energy levels. N equals 1 is the ground state. However, some exam papers may put N equals 0. But N equals 1, uh, I assume, is the standard. And uh, electrons can, in fact, move up and down energy levels, just, you know, whenever they feel like it. No, there is, there are processes to it, and we'll go through them in just a minute. An atom in anything past ground state is known as in its excited state. And here we can just sort of see the energy levels and how much energy it takes. Uh, here we have ground level N1, and you can just see the transition block sort of decreasing as you go higher. So let's talk about excitation by collision. This is a form of excitation where an electron in an atom is hit by another electron. Electron. So an electron hits an electron with exact energy. It has to be exact. You know, no less, no more. The electron then moves to a higher energy level. If the electron is actually moved to the point of ionization, this is called ionization by collision. To clarify, by the way, in case anyone, you know, so it's to be a smart ass. Um, the collision isn't actually a real collision. Electrons don't actually touch. They just go near each other and repel. But for argument's sake, we call it collision. Next up is excitation by absorption. Here, instead of uh, being transferred energy by colliding electron, an electron is excited by instead absorbing energy from a photon. Once again, it has to be exact. Uh, but all in all, it's the same principle, really. But then, of course, we have de-excitation. Now, this is pretty cool. This is obviously the exact opposite of excitation. An electron drops down from uh, an energy level and emits a photon of equal energy difference um, to however much it's dropped down by. Uh, and excitation and de-excitation is how we can actually explain how filament tube lighting works. Uh, arguably the most defining factor of any classic Pakistani household. The human race, especially the brown members of it, love filament tube lighting. As a brown man myself and a scientist, I find them especially amazing and it's because of how they work. The filament is heated and then electrons are released as a result. A voltage is applied to the ends of the tube which causes them to accelerate due to the current. Electrons then collide with the low pressure gas, uh, gas, gas, whatever that gas may be, which causes excitation. Once they de-excite, photons are emitted corresponding to the energy change, which actually corresponds to UV light. Now UV light is dangerous, so the phosphorus coating on the filament tube then absorbs the photons, and then those atoms are then excited, and then they are de-excited, and a photon is emitted corresponding to the energy change, which in this case is visible light, which is the light we see and love. Next thing I want to talk about is spectra. There's two types of spectra. There's continuous spectra, which contains all possible wavelengths, and there are no gaps in a continuous spectrum. A uh, spectrum of white light is continuous. Um, that's an example of continuous spectra. And hot objects uh, produce uh, a continuous spectra in the invisible, invisible? In the visible <laughs> and infrared spectrum. In my notes, I have as invisible here. I'm going to amend that. And... Um, this is basically what it looks like. A line spectra, on the other hand, only contains lines of the wavelengths that are emitted. It's produced by white light when you put it through through cool gas, and it's also produced by an excited gas. And different elements actually produce unique patterns of line spectra. This is actually how we discovered uh, helium uh, from the sun. Uh, this is an example of uh, line spectra. And that's pretty much it for photon emission. Um, the next video will actually be the last in the whole particle physics uh, series, I guess. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for that. You can uh, keep a tab on that if you subscribe to the channel. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to leave a like and a comment. Have a fantastically brilliant day, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.